to the Star Mazda Championship in Portland, Oregon. Watching the battle between teammates. Anderson Racing holding down second and third positions right now. Yeah, and John Edwards opening up that gap a little bit more. Charles Hall, I think, is holding back Gladys a little bit. And remember, Gladys has been on the pole for both events here. I think he's probably got the fastest car. He's on the pole by almost three tenths. So he's strong, but you know, it being fast and getting by somebody are two different things. Ooh, look at this move here. Ardoin continuing to pick his way up through the field after having issues on the opening lap, going all the way back to last. Every point matters. These guys are definitely going to be fighting for every single point. Patrick O'Neill. Is our doing, uh, looks like he's up to 11th, I'm guessing. Moving through the field. And again, you know, that the, each point is going to be important in this championship. They do get to drop one round. A lot of these guys have had, had bad events. You know, we've not even heard a darn thing from Joe Miller, you know, for, uh, for this race. Get back to the front. Oh, a little bit of traffic. Oh, uh, you know what? And he, he, oh, this is oh, a, look at that. He's got to block his teammate because the outside line quickly becomes the inside line. And Gladys almost had him. That's one of those opportunities, you know, as your career gets further and, and longer and you get more experience, you figure out how to do the math in that type of situation to increase your opportunities as you get by. You know, both those guys feel a lot of pressure. Hall trying to do everything he can to hold Gladys back. He, he, he probably figures his faster. Can you see the red and white blur of the number seven of Edwards, race leader? And Edwards, I think, really thought he had a great opportunity to sweep this weekend. And I, I'm sure getting stuck on the grid yesterday probably ate at him all night long. Oh, well, yeah, you know what? I mean, to not have the opportunity to race and show what you can do. If you're a gunfighter, you really, really want to show what you can do. And right now, he, he, he's given a lesson on how to get around Portland. Here's Alex Ardoin again. And now he's challenging for 10. Oh, I like this. That's a beautiful comeback coming from dead last. You see him opening up his line going into that last corner here. So I'd say another one's about to bite the dust. That would be Rusty Mitchell in that all-white 22. We watch Ardoin. He's going to get the toe right there, get to the breaking zone, snap wow. out. Boom. Cleanly done. That was classic. It looks like Rusty put all the uh, color into his helmet on the car, huh? Well, it'll be easy to find out there. Alex Ardoin, boy, you know, he's got a lot to be proud of, and, and, and you watch him, his technique is really good. Car has to be set up really nicely. Again, he was, you know, he finished second yesterday. I'm sure he's expecting much bigger things today. Well, in your theory of if you can't win at Be Spectacular, uh, Alex is a winner there. Oh, yeah, and you know what? Mentally for himself, he's going to be feeling good because, you know what? Yeah, it's great winning, but if you fall to the back and you pass a ton of cars, you're still on the end, end of the day with a smile. This could be a woulda, coulda, shoulda weekend for our race leader. As we said, Edwards started second for both races, thought second was a place to start. He proved that right today, and, Johnny, he could have had a similar situation yesterday where he ran away from the pack and really would have scored big points. Yeah, you know what? It would have been awesome for him. You know, it, uh, it didn't happen, so he's got to make He's doing that. Again, you know, a good team behind him. You know, again, his very first race that he's ever been in Star Mazda, he at Salt Lake City. You know, does a, a really good job. Like, games, you know, Anderson Racing, as we see both their cars competing second and third right now. Uh, and Edwards doing a, doing a great job. Here's those two Anderson cars battling over second. And Edwards, of course, uh, runs with AIM Motorsports, another one of the top flight, I should say AIM Autosports, another one of the top flight teams in the Star Mazda Championship. we got a pretty good team here at Speed that handles all the Star Mazda telecasts. All right, so stay with us. We're coming back. Mazda's road raced than any other brand. All Mazdas here, the Star Mazda Championship presented by Goodyear. Everybody making use of the horsepower and the Renesis engine. It's a rotary power plant that all these cars have and it's the same one you can find at your local Mazda dealer buried in the belly of an RX-8. Billy Goshen, you see him. He ran third yesterday, Johnny. Yeah, you know what? He's doing a nice job this weekend, being very consistent. I don't know whether he's got the pace of the guys at front, uh, but uh, you know, he's doing a good job holding down fifth. And again, you know, uh, 
a lot of these guys, these younger guys, they might not look at the series as they got to win this year. A lot of them, for it's a learning opportunity to, to make the real assault next year. That might be the case with Goshen. First podium in the series for the season. And a battle for 11th here. Mitchell again in the 22. And Kyle Lara in the 19. Saw a lot of him yesterday, too. You know, these guys have been getting a lot of laps in this weekend. They need to know the circuit by now and, uh, and hopefully have their cars, cars dialed in. Qualifying, they did go quicker than they did, you know, the, the first day. And uh, it... Uh, it's really interesting to see, you know, that the battle at the front remains the same, and John Edwards really certainly putting on a show. One of the things I find a little interesting is we go back to the battle for second, which has intensified. Yesterday, a lot of fuel pickup issues, and the temperatures are cooler today. Could that have affected that, made yeah. it better? Uh, always possible that, you know, I mean, fuel is affected by temperature, but uh, most likely there, there might have been some dirty fuel in the paddock. You, you really don't know what happened there, but uh, so far today, all these cars are running great. Oh, Gladys got a little bit of a tow. Takes a peek, puts a little pressure. Oh, man, it was too bad we broke away right there because you can see Charles Hall locking up a tire with yeah. traffic in front of him. So this this could, you know, this could pan out. Alex Ardoin continuing to charge through the field in the black 51 with the orange wings. He's caught the tail of J.C. Kester in the 24. And again, you know what? As he moves through the field, each guy's going to be a little bit more difficult to get by. The early guys, they're slower than you, they're going to be easy to move by. But as he gets closer to the front, he's going to have to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more aggressive. Kester holds down eighth. Ooh, and Kester's trying to get around the 25 as quickly as he can because he knows he's got a lot of heat being applied from behind. Yeah, but finding a way by oftentimes isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. And what you need to do is really control that guy behind you. Michael Gesser is in the 25. And Ardoin's going to try to squeeze through. Oh, man, that's tight. It you works know out. And, and, and you know what? You saw that curving on the right there very briefly. That used to be grass. And uh, I know a few guys that tried using that grass as a shortcut. Anybody in this room? Ineffective. No, no, not myself. Okay. Actually, Darren Brassfield probably made one of the oh, sweetest yeah. passes I've ever seen in a Trans Am car there. Whoa, now that's a spot we saw yesterday cause some problems because you hang not only the tires up in the air, but the gearbox gets hung up back there. Oh, man, and a really easy way to spin, but uh, Ardoin did a nice job holding on to that. And again, classic outbreak. Oh, fun over there. Yeah, that was tight, but it works, and Ardoin's got eight. Well done. Now back to the fight for second. Uh, and you, you can see right there at the front, you know, Gladys getting a little impatient. He picks up the toe. He's oh, bold place to try to make a move. Sure is. But Hall knows he's got company for sure. And this pressure, I, I got to tell you, it's, it, in my mind, it's a matter of time before Gladys gets by there. He's, he's stronger. He's putting a ton of pressure on Hall. Hall checking his mirrors a little yeah. bit there. You know, it's a funny thing when you're a formula car guy, a lot of times you turn your head to see, look in the mirrors, but when you know a guy's right on you, a lot of times you'll just move your eyes so that he doesn't know that you're watching him. Here's the 20 car, Joel Miller. The points leader runs in fourth, and if something happens to these two, and as tense as this battle is, it could easily. Miller, who's got a two-point lead in the championship fight, can really pick up some points here today. As he's starting to reel these two in. We'll be right back to see how this one shakes out in the closing stages.